What's up everybody, a spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers series. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we were working on getting the front area a little more enclosed and laid out so we kind of knew a bit more of what we were working with. And also trying to plan out some more stuff as far as where things were located. There was actually a few comments that gave me some pretty good ideas. Uh, one was also something that I may have to make a duplicate of the world and tear the nose apart and experiment with because I don't think I can work with this small of a space at the moment. Uh, but it also it was it was basically referencing having some form of retractable weapon in the front of the nose, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, I've thought about it before. I just honestly as compact as all this is. Um, I'm trying to. Th think where everything is. I'm relatively sure that from the door you've got one here, door, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait, it's the wrong room. <laughs> Alright, so it's about it's roughly about 15 blocks long from that door. It's about 16 from that. So that'd be about 31 ish, give or take. Maybe. Unless my math was way off, which it could have been. Oh, maybe not. So it would come out to about there, roughly, I guess. So from there, you've got, well, we do have a few more panels. There might be enough room to move, have a few things in there. I was actually thinking, these are only one block high though. I was thinking in terms of the normal ramps that are two blocks, I thought, or are they one, two? I don't know. Anyways, I was thinking if there was like a two block tall, um, you could have a piston with a rotor attached to the top that pushes the rotor and the ramp out and then the rotor would spin it up and it would give you a one block clearance to have some kind of cannon or something but apparently those are all one blocks so I don't I don't know I don't know how we would do this but it's worth experimenting on I guess but like I said I'll probably what I might do is if we try and work on that in the next episode or something, what I may do is make a duplicate copy of the world and then just kind of like cut the whole nose off at first and see if we can get something to work there. But it's not a bad idea. However, I also don't know that it would interfere with a room, especially with those measurements we were just looking at. Um, like, there's a pretty decent amount of space there for I mean you could probably put a ramp where they are like that that front block there right there and you could probably have enough room to have a piston connected to that and butt up against this whoa shaky cam and butt up against this block area in here and be okay maybe that might actually be doable. I'm not entirely... I don't want to say like, oh, we're totally doing that because I have perfect ideas of how to... because I don't. But it does seem fun, It does seem plausible, especially with some of the like one-by-one one pistons and stuff that we have now in the, in the mods. Um, I did fix this a little bit. However, there's one corner here that I just cannot get to cooperate with me. And it's kind of frustrating. Um, it worked all on this edge, but when you come over here and start wrapping it around, I was trying to follow the same door frame design that we put on the rest of the interiors. Let me in. Like this, where you have, um, yeah, where you have like a, the angle blocks at the bottom, and then there's the side angle blocks and then angles at the top. The The reason this worked, though, um, is because there wasn't a second row 
of ramps trying to do that. So that's kind of the problem over here that I'm not quite sure how to fix. This side, I think we had working before, but I didn't have this part, this um, angle. It was essentially, I think, just a... I think this was... Hmm, I don't remember, actually, because I just fixed this before recording and I wasn't paying attention. But I think this went fully over and then just jumped. It didn't gradually curve around and follow the same structure. So this corner is kind of bugging me here, but quite frankly, I don't, I don't really have a fix for it. Because if you did something, if you do like that, it leaves an opening. If you do like that, it leaves an opening. So this block is really the only one that fits, but then you get this weird like just cut off point that I don't like and if you did this obviously this throws off the top a bit well hold on all right we're gonna do a, a left side experiment right side is standard attempt here because this might actually work come on It's a little bit different, but because we have... I like it a lot better than this, though. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Because, yeah, that looks way better. Um, what did I do again? This, this. There. There, there. And there. All right. Okay. So that's good. I like that. That works. That works much better. Um, and I also cranked up all the lights in here. So places that do have lighting, it is a little better. Now, I don't know that I would leave it this way. I literally just cranked it up. Intense, <coughs> excuse me. Intensity is maxed out. Radius is maxed out. Like I just grabbed all of my lights and just cranked them. Uh, it's a, it's honestly a little bit too bright for some areas. It's, it's not quite how I would want it. Um, I mean, it's not bad, to be honest. It, it's not, because, I mean, you can kind of see what's going on now, at least. It's not like a just dark hallway. Um, and someone mentioned in the comments that when we seal up the roof, it may fix the lighting because the out, out, side ambient lighting could be affecting like your um i don't I'm, I'm guessing it's the effect of i forget what it's actually called but it's the effect of like when you walk out into the sun after you've been inside in the dark for a while and it seems really bright or vice versa um there's a scientific name for that but i don't remember what it is um anyways it could be affecting it which I agree, that's why like when you looked at the ground it was fine, then when we looked up it got really dark and stuff. So that could fix things when we seal up the roof. Um, one other thing to note, uh, it was pointed out to me and I totally missed it. I was one block too high. Uh, I haven't been building up on the hull level for two reasons. One, this is all going to be heavy armor. Um, and two is I usually have been leaving that uh, top layer here for conveyors. And I totally just built, um, you may recall in the last episode, this was two ramps high. Like, um, like this. There was, there was a second set of ramps up here. That's why these, these lights are where they are, actually. Uh, I just didn't feel like resetting new ones, so I just left them there temporarily. But, so I went ahead and dropped the ceiling by one, so now that works better. Now we kind of have the same issue in here that we did in here that I didn't realize I didn't follow the corner structure for the walls. So what I'm going to do, since this one is open anyway, is I'm going to build the left one trying to follow the same design pattern that we did in these rooms. All of Because I'd like it to kind of look at least the same or similar, even if it's not exact. Um, but that way we can compare left and right and see which one. Because we are going to lose, I think, one block of floor space on this style. I think I've already laid it out correctly. I'm not 100% positive on that. 
but let's find out. I don't really know how high up to go. I guess that high. Um... I'm also trying not to waste blocks, and what I mean by that is, like, I could go all the way over here, but that's extra weight and material that really won't be used. Actually, technically, you could say that the putting the one block um, behind it, like, this is going to get covered up so it won't be used either, but mm, at the same time... Oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just start at the top and work our way around and see what we come up with. We're going to need that there. I guess that makes sense. The real interesting one is going to be this one right here. This is going to be a fun one to try and transition. And we'll need to bring this around. Okay. And we also need to bring this up. Oh, wait a minute. No. That's following the other shape. Hold on. We want this one, like this, right? Yeah, and then we'll do that, that, and that, okay. All right, now let's do these pill, oh. Ooh, boy. This is going to be fun. Alright. Let's do the ones we know are going to stay this way. I think if we can if we can make this work, I think we'll like it better? Maybe? I don't know. Um... Oop, there we go. Right? Like that. Oh, wait. No. Okay, that's fine. I was thinking that needed to be a pillar, but it doesn't. Okay. Mm I think that'll work. Can I get a block up there? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Alright, and let's go ahead and go a little further back. Okay. So theoretically, if we were to follow the original convention of the walls, this is what it would look like, I think. Which, hmm, I actually don't know which one I like better. I think for door frames, I like this better. Especially since it matches the original design a little bit more. What I don't like is this is more even on the side. This is like, you have your angle sets, it's all one wall, angle sets, blah, blah, blah. This one's kind of like there's a bump in the wall, which may not be a big deal. It might be a big deal. I don't, I don't really know. So that's going to be a, what do you guys think? Because I'm not really sure. My visual, like, room efficiency says go with this. It's more symmetrical and you'd have more space. My OCD side that wants everything to match says follow the same conventions and do this. So if there's no objections, more than likely I'll end up going with this side just for my own peace of mind and maybe try and f configure this weird wall space into a design. Now technically we have a little bit more wall space over here because it goes up to a four block high. So we could put like a monitor here and some other stuff here. This one, you, there's nothing to really put on the walls. It's all down low. So there are some benefits to this over here. Um, but this one makes things feel a bit more spacious. This feels like you actually followed the hull shape, which we did. 
<clears throat> so, uh, one other thing that was brought up to me, and I actually like the idea, is... I never finished these walls. Hmm. I just noticed that. I was like, why is this hanging out? Oh, that's right. Is in here... It was actually mentioned to me to put the scripts and programmable blocks and stuff like that in here. Um, kind of as a uh, mainframe room, I guess you could call it. Not really a CIC for radar and maps and war planning, but just for computers and programming and servers and whatever. Um, it was mentioned because it's next to your reactor room, which, you know, will probably have a script that controls the... Whoop, 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 whoop trying to get that button. We'll probably have scripts to control the reactor because we talked about spinning it when it was running and all that kind of stuff. So it was just kind of one of those check on the reactor mainframe and you could go in here and, you know, and it doesn't take up a lot of room to have a few programmable blocks, timer blocks, etc. So that's not a bad idea at all. And it's something I might do. And then this frankly would probably turn into more of a cosmetic CIC and what I mean by that is you could have holographic maps and screens and data and all that kind of crap but in reality in the functions of space engineers you don't really need all that so it would probably serve as a decorative CIC until there's more functionality I guess I mean you could put consoles in here for turret control I didn't think about that yeah, so there may actually be a purpose for putting a CIC, is you could put a couple of cockpits down here, or flight seats, or whatever. And that could actually let you control any turrets, or cameras, or things like that. So if you actually had to get into a seat and control stuff, you could, and then this would just be automated uh, computer mainframe, which is a cool idea. I like that. Um, I will have to go through... And see if there's any... At the moment, we only have two. There's the micro block and the regular block. And just for aesthetics, we'll probably use the regular block in here. Because the micro block takes up, like, you know, it's like this. So that's not really a, a mainframe. We'll probably use... Uh, where's the button? Where's the button? We'll probably use uh, more of these. These, um... Gosh, what are they? They're like AI blocks or something. Um, we'll probably put some of those around and some other circuitry looking blocks and then just have two or three programmable blocks that'll actually run functioning scripts. Um, and then in here we'll do... I'm thinking that Colt's uh, control command mod pack, whatever it's called, because um, it has... I feel like there's a... is it map or hologram? Hologram. Hollow projector... Eh, that might not be... this one. Is this what I'm looking for? I don't know if that's what I'm looking for or not. It's... I'm trying to find a uh, expendable hotbar here. Uh, okay, there's... Wait, what was that? Oh, this was a new mod that I added, but unfortunately... Um, it's only available for large ships. But I had kind of gotten excited, because if you, if you haven't seen it, the Nanite Control Factory, it's basically like you can put a block on your ship, supply it with materials, and then if anything gets broke, um, you can kind of like connect it to a projector that blueprints your ship, and it'll just like repair stuff, I think. Oh, wait, no. I take that back. It'll repair any ship, or any uh, block, not any ship. It'll repair any block on the grid that was that was there when it was placed, I, I believe, is how it knows. Like, if I placed it down right now, if any of these blocks got broke and it had materials, it would try and repair it. Um, but you can also hook it up to a projector. Like, if, the, if there's a new projector on the grid that projects something else, it will build that, too. So you can use it to construct ships or to uh, repair ships. Unfortunately, though, it's only for a large ship. So I got excited, but then couldn't really use it. Um, this I think is what I'm using, looking for. Sector table? Is that it? There's one that has like a, here, a research table. Yeah, these two, okay. So it's the Aegis sector table. Um, I don't think I'll probably use the simple one. I like complicated. And then there's the research table, which is kind of cool looking. And of course it's not available for small ships. Mm. Mm. 
poo. I was like, I was excited about that too. All right, well, let's try a hollow globe thing then. I don't know what the projector does, unless that is an actual projector, which could be. Uh, get rid of that. We don't really need those buttons anyway. Um, so is this just a projector that projects the globe? Okay, so that's an option. What I want to see is what are our options with this? Okay, so essentially this one was what we may end up using for one reason only, I think. This isn't really a projector block. That's what I was thinking it was. It literally just projects a static image of this planet, which is fine. Um, actually. Is that? No. Maybe? I'm no geography expert, but for a second there I thought that was a map of Earth? But I think it's, no, I think it's too inconsistent. It could be, but it'd be a weird version. Anyways, this one is actually a projector. Um, now, I don't know how this works exactly. I, I've always been, I've always been bad at projectors. I've never fully understood them. Show only buildable. Keep projection after building is complete. Useful for automated building, but can per degrade performance. So why are you not showing anything then? That's what I want to know. Is there a scale? Show only buildable. Keep projection? No. Hmm. That's odd. Show block in terminal. Toggle block on and off. That's weird. It should be displaying it. Hmm. Curious. Unless it's... Oh, okay. It is... Oh. Oh, jeez. Um, there's got to be some kind of way to scale this. Vertical, horizontal, forward, pitch, yaw, roll. Huh. Because I've seen a lot of people use these types of things, and then you get these really small... Um, like, basically, maps or, or displays of your ship. Um, but this is not doing that, though. This is, like, offset and rotation. So, yeah, if you guys know how to make the smaller ones, that would be a great... Unless they're just using, like, tiny blocks to make a smaller scaled version of the ship, which could be what's going on, because it never really looks all that complex. But anyways, this is a cool idea, but, but, there is a very big risk of it causing frame rate performance, because it's essentially, if my memory serves, the way the projectors work is they're basically creating kind of like a transparent version of your ship, but it still sees it as the blocks. They're just not built. So in a way, it's like flying around with two of your ships. Um, and we've seen in the Inspiration series that when, you know, a map has a bunch of these projectors with different things and stuff, it looks really cool, but it can really hurt your frame rate. With something like this, you pretty much have the appearance, but it doesn't hurt your frames as much. Now we are going to have a cramped issue here though. That's... Ooh, I didn't think about that. These are kind of big. Okay, so if we did it like right there, it could work. And you can still get around it. It's a little bit of a snug fit. But it's doable and it's cool. Now, is this the same size? I think it's the same size. I'm pretty sure they're the same block, it's just one that's got a static image on it. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Um, what else, what else? Where's that? It might just be able, I might just be able to grab it from the side menu here. Colt. Wait, no, that's pipes. What? Where'd it go? Oh, is it under command? Command... Console pack, there we go. Um... Okay, so 
let's grab I need a I need a different hot bar here. Alright, let's clear this one out. We're not really using any of these at the moment. So I would like let's grab these and oh geez, I'm not gonna have any room for this stuff. <laughs> oh man. Um hmm. All of this stuff, when they do this, um, the mods available for small ships, I really would appreciate if they actually made them small ship compatible. And what I mean by that is scale the blocks down and not keeping them the actual large ship blocks, because that makes things problematic for building a small room, as we are seeing right now. Oh, wait. Jeez. Ah, that's so funny. Well, technically it works. But... Cramped is an understatement. Um, okay, so that's not gonna fly. This works, but you can't get around it. I'm not happy right now. Um... It is important to note we could get rid of this. I don't want to, but we could do that, and then we would have some more room for some of these bigger, badder things. See, like this, though, this wall will have, like, no hanging space. And this one, while it doesn't really, for something like this, it has a uh, small enough wall space that we could put something on there. So, um... What I would actually really, what I could actually really use is advice from some of the builders and stuff on uh, all the builders that are out there that may or may not be watching uh, on decorating small ships because I've seen a lot of these like command consoles and stuff that look really cool, but they're not really working for a small ship. So I need to better learn, I guess, how to properly detail rooms like this with smaller blocks is kind of my weak spot at the moment. Let's go ahead and finish this up here, because this is kind of one of the last doorways that we've got. Um, what is it? Let's start there. Um, and let's clear out the same amount here and we're going to turn on the mirror mode so it'll save us some time oops no not that now let's check okay it does look like it actually changed its sometimes the corners and stuff don't always like to play nice when you're dealing with the other side. Like you place it right over here and it's flip-flopped over here, that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so we should just be able to run this like that. Okay. And we'll place another one of these here here and there. Um, let's go ahead and fill this in. Huh, that was funny. It gave me the like can't do it sound and then did it weird. Okay, and like this and like this. Okay, now that should actually complete the walls for the bottom floor, unless we wanted to do any stuff here, which we might. I think we have room to, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's play around with that real quick. Well, we've got just a little bit more time. Do something like that. Um, let's do the bottom first. Oh, I guess I could get out of the 
red so that you guys aren't seeing red the whole time. That would be probably a good idea, wouldn't it? Um, okay, what's going on here? What is happening? Something's weird. Oh, the wall's too close. That's why. Huh. Whoops, I'm... I messed up on this doorway. <laughs> okay. Uh, whoops. So we're gonna have to fix this. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Uh oh. I might be. I probably should have turned that off. Whoops. Again. I'm just all about the whoops right now. Just making all kinds of mistakes. Okay. Okay. And we'll fix that. There we go. Alright, so now all the doors should match, which they do. Okay, so now if we find something that works, it should work on both doorways. Um, now we could do something like we did before. The only problem is it cuts, it kind of cuts into the door, and I'm not sure that I really like that. So for now, let's see if we can do something simple like that. And then on the top here, we can get a little more decorative because it's the top. And it's not really going to get in the way of anything. So we can do something like that. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. Let's go ahead and do the other ones because it's a, it's a fairly quick fix. We will have the sign issue there, but we can fix that later. I'm not really worried about that. Um, frankly, we can always use one of these slope signs and put it right there if we wanted to. And that would totally be okay. Okay, so now... What the... Man, okay. That's what happens when you make doors offset from each other. <clears throat> nope, not those. Don't grab those. These. Get rid of that. That's funny. Okay. Uh, one, two. Two. So it adds a little bit of something. I'm not, the the top I actually like um, a lot, and it keeps the overall decor of this angled on the top and angled on the floor going on. The one I'm not sure about is this. It doesn't really round it off and makes it a little bit just more pointy, um, which I'm not sure if that really does anything or not. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think that's going to be a wrap for this episode for today. I know we didn't get a lot done but technically we got all the walls up now all of the walls of the rooms are pretty much laid out now is the time for working on the actual rooms i should say we got most of the rooms on the all the walls on the bottom floor done we didn't get the top done so let me know what you guys think in the meantime i hope you all enjoyed if you did leave a like and i will see you all next time peace